Hello everyone, I'm back with another process video today. This is another 6x8 pocket page layout from my trip to Denver earlier this year. So I'm continuing to work on that, making some progress here. This is probably going to be a little bit of a longer layout because it's double page here. And then as you can see, I think I have things laid out the way I want, but I also have multiple photos for this pocket. So there will have to be a flip on this pocket. And I have no idea what I'm really going to do with any of these photos. I did pick out this paper for the background, but I'm not sure how I'm going to arrange it or what else I'm going to put on it. I have to do something. It's, it's too plain to just have it like that. And, you know, a lot of these pictures have dead space like here and here, up here. So I'll have to be adding things, but I'm just not sure what those things are right now. So we'll see what happens as I go. <laughs> you can hear that sorry that's my cat messing around off camera so I apologize in advance if she does it again as I was going through my stash of stuff I came across these puffy stickers from citrus twist and I'm thinking about using this one it says point of interest it's kind of orangey but there is some orange right here in this photo and then there's a little bit of kind of yellowy orange in this card and I'm thinking that maybe I'm going to use that as sort of my offset color because there's a lot of blue there's a lot of green so I don't want to keep using that I want to have some kind of contrasting color so I'm thinking maybe orange is the way to go um, orange is not the easiest color to come by in embellishments so I'll start with this and see what else I can find in my stash but I want to take this and probably go off center and then use this over here or on the side or something. But I'm going to start with this puffy sticker. I did attach the puffy sticker here, but I decided it's not really enough and that this still looks too blank. And so I think I'm going to do some washi up here and I've decided on this one. It's a pretty bright orange and it's just a subtle stripe there and I think that might help to bring in some of that color and then I may have to work it in over here as well just because this is awfully bold and so I want everything to look balanced but we'll just see how it looks as we go. I did add the washi here and I definitely think that it helps a lot. So I am going to take some and also put it on this card and I think I'm just gonna do it along the bottom so that it adds the color but it also balances this lower right corner with the upper left corner. So if I can just get a little piece going here. I ripped it a little bit. Look at that, it's split. It happens sometimes, there we go. I'll just take that. And then this one's floating off the edge, so I wonder if I should do the same thing over here or not. I don't know exactly what I want to say, so I don't know that I'm going to need all this journaling space, so maybe I'll just go like that. And I don't lose that much by putting it down there. And I could, you know, do this line and then still use this little bit if I had to. So let's see how that looks. I like it. It's just enough off-center where they're not exactly across from each other, but it's both left and right, which I like. So yay for that, and now I will move on to figure out what to do next on this left side. I do have some dead space up here in this photo, and so I think I'm going to put something there. And what I found was this pack of stickers. This is from a Citrus Twist Kit, and this one says 12 p.m., and that's uh, roughly about what time it was when I was here. And it's kind of that orangey, yellowy color that's in here. So it's not a perfect match to this, but it will match the card. And so I think I am going to incorporate that. And I think I'm just going to put it up in this corner. I also found this little package of die cuts. It's from a previous Coco Daisy kit. And one of the little items I found in there was this. It says this right here, and it's got that more gold yellow orangey light orangey color there plus more of this color at the bottom so I think I'm going to take it and I'm actually going to put it right in the pool here like so 
So I know I said I didn't want to use too much more green and blue because there's already a lot in there. However, when I was looking at this photo, there isn't a lot of green on this side. You can see a little bit peeking out here, a very, very light green in the pool, but most of it happens on this side and in these photos that are going to be in the flip. So I found this. This is also from Coco Daisy, their chipboard sticker elements, and I like this one. I think it would bring in a nice bit of green over there. Now, I'm also thinking I may stamp on it. I'm not sure, but I like the idea of maybe having just a little word on it up here. But for now, at least, I'm going to peel it off and stick it on the photo. So I want to put it up next to this green one and just show, like, how that's going to bring the green in. There we go. I think that's good placement. There you go. So I do think that helps kind of catch the eye and bring in a little bit of that green to balance everything out just a little bit better. So for now, I will leave it and not put anything else on there. And I think I'm going to move over to doing the flip now because really this side is done unless I stamp, but I need to get the flip done on this right hand side. These are the photo flips that I use most often. They are from Simple Stories, the snap line. They're three by four. Pretty easy to use. If you've watched my channel, you've already seen me do them here and there, but we're gonna do another one. Comes with an adhesive strip right up top, so really you're just figuring out where you're gonna place it, and you're going to take that off and adhere it to your page. Now, because this is a top pocket, I actually like to adhere it down here so that it folds this way. Otherwise, at the top, look what happens. This doesn't fit, you have to fold it over, and then that pocket is closed as well, which I don't like. So, I tend to do it this way, and then flip towards the bottom. So I have the flip ready. I've put the back photo in here. Here's my top photo, and when I flip down, you'll see this. I did decide to add a little puffy heart there because I felt like this all looks great, but when you flip down, you're going to see it like so. This is blank, which it probably should be because there's already something here, but I felt like this needed something or it would have been very blank, two blank photos kind of on top of each other. So I did add that, and then I'm just going to adhere the flip here and it's just about alignment just make sure that everything lines up the way you want it and then press down let me get that out of the way oops there we go so now that's there but it doesn't close up the pocket so I can still slide that in however I don't think I'm done with that yet it looks blank to me I think I need either a sticker phrase or a stamped phrase or something over here to kind of bring in these darker colors. So I'm sure I'll use black ink, but I just have to find an appropriate phrase. So I'm gonna go figure that part out and then I'll be back. I've decided to use this stamp set. This is from Kelly Perky, it's Big City Love. And I like this one in the park. Now I know when she designed this, look at this building. She obviously meant it for New York probably, but we don't have Central Park in Denver, so I'm just gonna do in the park because this was Civic Park, which I'll talk about, but I'm thinking if I put it right here, just barely under this, or maybe even lift this up and overlap it a tad, that that will look pretty good. So that's my next step. My original thought was that I would stamp it right on here, but I did a test run just on white cardstock, and I decided I really liked the way it looks, so I just used my fine tip scissors and cut it out, and then I'm going to attach it right down here and probably put just a mini staple in there for visual interest. So I think right about here so it's a little bit staggered but there's a little bit of green right along the border there. There we go and then I'll put in that. I like it. Oh you know what I think I'm gonna put one in over here as well. I like that. And you know what? What the heck? We'll make it match. We'll put one in on this side too. There we go. All right. So that's what I have. Am I happy with it? Let's see here. You know, I think I am. I don't think I'm going to stamp there because there will be black writing here. I always journal it in black. That will bring in all of this. So I don't think I need another thing stamped. I have this down here, plus this. I think it all matches, especially when you do this. So I think, I think this one's 
good. Yeah, I'm pleased with it. All right. So turned out a little bit differently than I anticipated at the start, but I like it. So I'm going to keep it. Thanks for watching everybody.